All right, guys, welcome back to another Unity tutorial. In the last video here, basically what we did was we made a prefab and we were able to spawn it in at runtime here, okay? So if you guys haven't seen that video here, go back and watch it. That video was uploaded yesterday here, so it shouldn't be too hard to find, okay? I'll put a link in the description down below if you guys want to check it out too. Now, what I want to do in this video here, just so you guys can see what's up, let's go back to Unity here. And let's go ahead and hit play just to see what's happening here. So there's nothing in scene right now, as you can see. When we hit play here, we spawn in this little sprite at runtime, okay? So if I want to do something else with the sprite here inside of this script, how would I go about doing that? Well, for this video here, we're going to work on using, uh, basically, we're going to work on applying a movement to the sprite from here, okay? Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up an update method here. Let's go update. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable here um, that's basically going to, let's just do it right here. I'm going to say public game object. And we're going to say, let's call this girl here. So remember, this prefab here is, excuse me, this variable here is the prefab. This is what we're spawning at runtime here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this variable equal to what we just spawned in here. So I'm going to say girl equals instantiate that, okay? And just so we can form it, control A, control K, control F from there, okay? The way that I remember that is control F is just control find here. So I have to highlight everything, control K, and then control F, and that's going to format it for you, okay? Now what I want to do is I want to apply a transform to this variable right there. I'm going to say girl.transform, and we're going to say, I'm sorry, dot translate, translate, and let's apply a vector 3. Let's make it go up. So 0, comma, 1, comma, whoops, comma, 0 from there, whoops, 0 from there, and then a semicolon, okay? And let's hit save. Now, what's going to happen here is once this is spawned at runtime, it's basically going to go up the screen pretty faster. So what I should probably do is make this a 0.01 and 01F. So it's a float now, not just a uh, not just an integer. Okay. Let's go back to Unity, and this script is already attached at the main camera at runtime. Okay, right there. Let's go ahead and hit play, and we'll see it start to go up very slowly. Now, if I pause it from here, I go back to scene here and I skip forward one frame, you'll see it start to move up kind of slow. And that's how I can cycle through frames here, okay? So you can see at runtime here, excuse me, I should say, in the script here, this is our prefab and this is what's assigned at runtime here. So this is the prefab and this is the thing that's currently in scene from there, okay? So guys, great job in the video. You guys did fantastic. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to give me a like, a thumbs up, and comment or subscribe down below here. Uh, and then uh, if you guys are really interested, be sure to check out my Udemy courses. Descriptions are in the links down below. Or excuse me, links are in the description down below. Great job, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.